Well, welcome multimedia students. It's me, Mr. Cheney, with another brilliant tutorial. We are on to the last project for the design school in Canva, so it's part five. So Canva website, we're going to go to learn, we're going to go to design school, and the one that we've been working on for the past two weeks is Canva design skills for students. We've done use elements, we've done add and customize text, we've done edit photos and videos. We skipped record yourself because there's no cameras on your cam uh, on your computers yet. Uh, we did use draw and now the very last one is this using apps. So clicking on the activity, we're going to start the activity. And as always, we want to save into the folder so that it auto saves everything that we do so that we don't miss our work. So we're going to click on the folder that we created, CDSS. And our project's going to save in there and we're going to move forward. So this one has 12 slides. So we'll go to slide number three for the first video. And one of the apps is Google Maps. Let's see how this works out. So you can go to the app section over in the toolbar and you can look up Google Maps. And it's the first one there in the list. And you can search up a city. They did Sydney, Australia. And if you needed that map in a presentation in Canva, then you can put it right there, which is pretty nifty. It's nice. It's even a live map. I'm impressed. So let's see what we have to do with it. So slide four. Step one says tap apps and search for Google Maps. So I'm going to do that. Click here. Click on that. And it's telling me to search for Bondi Beach. And I'm going to get that in here. It wants me to place the map. Find a photo of Sydney in photos and add it to the frame. Okay, so elements, I'm gonna go to photos, and look up Sydney. And there's the famous opera house, so that's pretty cool. Put that in the frame and search for a postal stamp. Stamp, so we'll put that where the stamp's supposed to be, right there. And we got ourselves a nice little postcard. Okay, slide five, QR codes. Once again, we'll click the apps button in the toolbar. We'll look up QR code. We will click the icon that says QR code. And what you do is you find the URL or the address of the website that you want the QR code to go to. You can customize it. And some of the customizations you can do is background color, foreground color, the margins that are around the code itself. And then so you can put this on the document so that people can scan and go to where you want them to go. So let's give it a try. Slide number six, let's play with QR codes. Step one, tap apps and search for QR codes. So let's do that. Click on maps. And step two says, open the app and copy and paste the Wonderopolis URL. Copy this. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Code. Customize the QR code color and add it to the design. So I'm going to customize, let's change the background color to like blue. There we go. Reset it here. And make it fit the box. And we got ourselves a QR code. And then find a rainbow photo with elements and add to the frame. So we're going to go photos. and we're good to go. So that is slide six. Moving on to slide seven, character builder. 
Once again, we're clicking the Apps button on the toolbar. We're going to search for Character Builder. It looks like this. Click on that, and you're just going to build yourself a character. So you've got a selection of different heads and arms and legs and hair color and skin tone. Lots of different options for building your own cartoon characters, it looks like. So, let's go see what we're going to do with that. Slide 8. Tap App Search for Character Builder, so we'll do that. And there it is. And it says, open the app and design characters to finish the comic. So we need characters for speech bubbles here. So, resize and move the characters to fit. So, let's go. This guy. This guy. This guy. Size him. Put him here. Make sure he's on the floor. There we go. And now I need at least one more character because maybe we can copy and paste so that he's over here saying this. Let's make one more character over here. Slide 9, Typecraft. Let's see what this is all about. Get the apps tool, click Typecraft. That's what the icon looks like. We'll open it up. And this looks like you can do some cool things with fonts. Kind of like cooltext.com it looks like, so that's pretty sweet. Pretty straightforward. Let's go to slide 10 and see. So let's play with Typecraft. Change the color of your flag. Click on the flag and we'll change the color to purple. And open the app. App type a one word message for your flag. So let's put sports. Customize the message and type craft. So let's go outline. Let's go color. Let's go green. shape okay. looks good add element we'll resize and put it in our flag there we go add a resize and we're good to go slide 11 use character builder to create your character add the map of your character's home country using google maps and insert your character's name using typecraft okay so go to character builder customize like so resize where's your maps so let's 
say she's from Russia. Put that over here. And now, last step, I'm going to typecraft. We're going to give her a name. So typecraft. Let's call her. Let's go. Add element. Put it down here, and that's it. That is the end of using apps in Canva. I will see you back in class.